You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. I'm joined by... James. James! James, shut the fuck up! It's starting! God damn it! You're ruining... <laughs> You're ruining the fucking Suck Professor channel! Oh. Hey, hey, look at us! We're back! We're doing it! Westworld! We're fucking doing it all over again! Except that we're not. We're not doing the full shot by shots. We're just doing a little quick review. James, we couldn't leave our fans, the viewers, the haters, the lovers, <laughs> the in-betweens. We couldn't leave them hanging, man. We were, so we've been abandoning them. We've, we, we, we've been like terrible host parents. What do you think? Welcome! Um... I'm just happy we're not host for coronavirus right now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It. The world's ending. There's a pandemic afoot. America's yeah. about to collapse into recession and terrible uh, death and misery. James, do you want to uh, sign up to dig mass graves or pile up bodies and burn them? Which one? Which job are you hoping to get if you survive it when you get it? Well, I, I didn't say I'd volunteer to be the first body in the pit. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm it's tired. kindling. That's yeah. why they call you the kindling of first in, pun. first winner. All right, cool. So Westworld Season 3 is out. Welcome back to the episode, everybody. I mean, the channel, right? Mm -hmm. Sun Professor. Uh, we went away for a while, and I'm going to stay away for a little while, too. And uh, you know, But maybe I'll do some more news dumps or something, or you know, I'm doing another podcast. I'll talk about that at the end, though. James, we're gonna do reviews, right? Uh -oh. Quick reviews. Just, okay. just our, our our initial reaction after watching the episode. We don't have time for the whole shot by shot. Okay. It takes too much work. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I did get laid off from my job at the Young Turks, so at least now I have time to do stuff. But I'm doing other things and working on stuff. Uh -oh. But uh, we want to, uh, you know, keep suck, breathe a little life back into Suck Professor, kind of yep. like Dolores breathing a little life back into. I don't know, whatever the fuck we just watched. Yep. And, and I'm uh, working from home because someone tested positive in my offices for COVID-19. So, oh, man. so there's that. Jeez. James is uh, patient zero over here. No, no, I'm get not. Get with the patient no, zero I'm and not. get with the patient hero. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, I think I might have had it already. Do you want to stop holding hands? <laughs> I think I did have it in January. So hopefully we're both immune. Um, all right. Quick review. We're going to keep this short. Mm -hmm. As everybody, as viewers know, people regular know that we ramble and go on forever yep. and ever and ever. So any new people that are coming to this, don't expect quality analysis out of us. I barely, we, 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 James and I had a conversation yesterday. I couldn't remember anybody's name, what the show was about. I knew it was took place in a Western setting. Yeah. Where'd the big vagina go? The we're, rift? How did they? Where'd that go? I was expecting to see that in season three. And where'd Tyrion go? And what what happened to the Hound? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he totally like went off the source material as soon as they got rid of George Railroad Martin. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, we're, we're not experts. So we, we're going to suck at this. Westworld is really esoteric. You have to like dig into it. It's like doing like three D fourteen layer puzzles, chess, like in Star Trek. You know, they have like the the clear chess game, um, and it's impossible to understand. But this actually, so let's just talk about it. Did, what did you think? What were your expectations for season three? I mean, uh, at least like, were you excited to see a uh, yeah, new season? I was, but I was, and I hate to be a negative person, but I was a little disappointed in this one because Fuck the me. whole allure of Westworld, the first time I saw the first episode of season one, I was hooked and it was because it was this mass enigma. We knew that it was an artificial world. We knew that it was people from an outside world that we had no glimpse into visiting this park to get uh, a type of macabre yeah. entertainment that they wouldn't normally have in their yeah. real life. They take out their indiscretions willingly in this world. Yeah. And it, the, the characters not knowing what was real, what wasn't real, not knowing what timeline you're in, not knowing what these obscure uh, vagaries, words, violent delights have violent ends, mm -hmm. not knowing the true relationship between Dolores, who she was in the past, whether or not she was a person originally, who's where, a host, who isn't a host, what's Bernard's deal, where is Elsie? Yeah, all where's, these, where's the ugly Helmsworth brother? Yes, yeah. all these things were infinitely interesting to me, and it was in a setting that was the Old West, which made it even more interesting to me for some reason. I don't... Well, can't it, quite put my finger on it, but and it felt like a video game. It did, like like, it, like a, a fully realized simulator world, but like mm -hmm. sort of like they're in a video game, right? Like a, with with 
with con- confines. And yeah, Sorry. and now we're in this uh, <laughs> narrative that seems to be like a Deus Ex Machina or um, what are these other games like Watch Dogs or System Shock. Yeah, System Shock. That's yeah. a great game. Yeah, that's, it, yeah. and it's sort of like that. And those things have their merits; they have their places. But I never really cared about futuristic cities and storylines like that. That doesn't really appeal to me in the same way that the season one and season two did. So season three, they're out of Westworld. They're, yes, they're sort of clearly entered the greater. Uh, you know, um, future Earth. How far do they give a year? Did we miss that? Um, I did not notice a year, yeah. but this whole Terminator Dolores thing is do- <laughs> it's not. It's just it doesn't grass. It does, it's not interesting. So to she me. comes out and she kills. We start at a rich guy's house. We don't know what's up. We're like, who's right. this guy? Is he like uh, the the founder dude's brother or something? But mm-hmm. we can't tell. He's got a cool pool. He's got some, uh, you know, nice things going on in his life. And she shows up and she murders him and she says, bitch, you killed me on the hay pile. Yeah, she's... she's. So I, I thought that was kind of like, all right, you know what? That might be kind of a cool episode or uh, storyline where she goes after dudes that wronged her while she was a park employee. Yeah. It's like when you go to the, uh, the Disney World and you run up to Mickey Mouse and you smack him on the butt and run right. away. I, I want to believe it's more deep than that, though, because she's going after people to get access to this... Um, this thinking sphere called yeah. Rohoham or Rohodohum or whatever, whatever the heck you call it. Ro- Rohoboam. The, yes, that's correct, but I'm going to call I, it the Riders of Rohan. The Riders of Rohoboam. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. But I don't it, think that was correct. But it seems like the people that she's going after who have some sort of connection to this thing just so happen to also be connected to the sphere because they're rich and powerful, and the people who went to the park were the rich and the powerful. Well, the first guy was like just a one off, we think. Well, right? I, well, just I, to show what I'm she was... hoping not because that seems very petty, and that seems yeah. too petty. It's, it's too guys raped and murdered her they deserve death but she has larger plans true i mean that to go out of her way to do something like that seems beneath her well she took his funds though too remember yes she she was bankrolling yes she needed something from him she needed his money she took his money and yes he was a piece of garbage that's and yes he kills himself she doesn't kill him right she basically holograms out and he goes into the pool in the poetic ending like his wife did when he beat her and mm-hmm. we don't really know if he pushed her in the pool or something like that yeah. it's heavily implied that he murdered her right and he stole his uh his uh, collection of original mama's family dvds yes <laughs> what the fuck all uh, right so she did get something from him she looked and she's like talking about some sort of startup but then she seems to be pursuing this liam guy who's like the son of the founder of this rohoboam uh, ai ball yeah and uh we don't know what she's up to, but she seems to be want to recreate her friends. Like, right, she's got the little um, uh, little golf balls of uh, the ping pong balls right. of souls in her purse. But that's something that confuses or me as well. And I could maybe, maybe I'm remembering season two incorrectly, but Probably. I remember Charlotte Hale killing Charlotte Hale because Charlotte Hale wasn't Charlotte Hale. Charlotte Hale host was really Dolores inside a host of Charlotte. Oh, God. So she escapes under the guise that she's Charlotte Hale. Yeah. Comes back, reprints her own old. Uh, body, Dolores body, gets back into her Dolores body, and then you have this other Charlotte Hale that's walking around, which you could only presume was the body that she was inhabiting, who is now inhabited by someone else, who we don't know. But we do see Charlotte Hale in this episode, yep. the fake host Charlotte Hale, at a board meeting talking about the future plans for the company. But she's, we don't, she's like the CEO. Or yes, the, yeah. the interim CEO, in, but yeah. we don't know who's in her now. It, it could be anyone. It could be, I mean, I was, I was going to say it could be Bernard, but we see him later on, so it's not him. Yeah. Could be... It could be Robert Ford for all we know. I think it's her dad. Remember the guy with the uh, penis? Uh, yes, Abernathy. Yeah, Abernathy. P- Peter Penis Nathy. Yeah, it could be because <laughs> we know that they went to the Forge. And what was the Forge? Oh, fuck. I can't do all this trivia. That was like a red room with a big bunch of supercomputers uh, down where the backups for the original. Right. Know. And I, I might. That, be, I, I, no well, idea. I could no be clue. getting this wrong. And You're, I'm sure people will correct me if I'm wrong about this. Yeah. But I remember that there were two things there was the cradle, and then there was the forge. And what I recall, the cradle was the backup system for all the host mines. And then the forge was the backup system for all the human minds. Okay. And they wanted to go. Oh yeah, to the, they were storing data from yeah. the customers. So yeah. they wanted okay. to go to the forge to learn as much as they could. But I could, I, I think that Dolores destroyed the forge when she left. Yeah, I think she upgraded it to Windows 10. Yes, and that's what and destroyed. That, I mean, that, yeah, that's yeah. that's bigger. Yeah. That's better than one of those you uh, could do. involuntary restarts where it forces yeah. a, a sudden update on you. Mother so fucking the Bill, very Bill fact, Gates. Yeah, the very fact that she was there tells me that she could have put anyone, host or human, potentially. Even right. though the human uh, with a uh, you know with like J- Jim Delos, the human thing didn't really work out well. He was yeah. in a perpetual hell, being incinerated and passing the loop tests and things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. But it could be the sky's the limit on who it could be. 
uh, who's in Charlotte, you mean? Yes. So she's up to. We'll keep it short. She's she her, she's running the company, and they made, she made a decision with her AI partner. She has like a board member that's a robot or something. Yeah. That uh, and they're gonna pr- start producing more hosts. So we'll see more of yes. that. That's like the smallest storyline of today. Mm-hmm. Dolores was we've already talked about. She uh, uh, well, let's talk about Jesse then. Jesse Pinkman, okay. Mr. White. Yeah. Yo, Mr. White. <laughs> I, I, I can't think of anything here. Yo, Mr. White, there's like fucking robots all over this western place, man. Bro, come on. It's pretty good. If pretty I had good. a script, I'd probably do better with that. <laughs> Mesh. For sale. All right, I do a decent Jesse Pinkman. But so uh, Aaron Paul, fresh yep. off the hit show Need for Speed and Need for Speed Dose. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, uh, he is like a, tr- a troubled former soldier who uh, is trying to find a job, but he does sort of side work with an underground kind of criminal thing. He gets his orders from an, a sexual app, a very mm-hmm. arousing looking application. That's what mm-hmm. app is short for. It's like a woman in a, in a luchador mask. No, yeah, not really. Yeah, it's, like a, it's, a, it's a knit ski mask. Yeah, I never got into the headgear with the sex yeah. stuff. I just like naked ladies that want to have sex with me. That's my kink. And that, mm-hmm. that, you know, pretty standard. Uh, what's your kink? What's your, you got a kink? Any kinks? Mm-hmm. We've never talked about your kinks. Mm-hmm. You, are you kinky? Yeah, no? I like vanilla ice cream. Vanilla kink? <laughs> and that's about it. All I'm, right. I'm bland. Totally fair. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, a, anyway, he's talking to somebody named Francis who keeps calling. And we kind of figure out that this is his buddy, he's somebody from the war. Yeah. And he's sort of troubled by his um, past. But he's um, using his... his, his um, deadly skills to right. make money he's kind of like neo from the matrix right and so we know, got a double life yeah we know that he goes to therapy he's in a program we don't quite know what the program is yeah. we do find out later that the program is connected to this francis character which we'll get into in just a minute yeah but he does through this uh like tinder app type thing i don't know if <laughs> right. i've never used tinder there's all sorts of weird apps. whatever it yeah. is you know yeah, yeah. let's just call it eHarmony. Yeah. so through eHarmony, he commits acts of terrorism basically yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, like it's it seems like it's a, a front or a way that they're using to send messages because they don't want to use a WhatsApp or something. Exactly. Yeah, it's so. like this is the one first it went through farmersonly.com and then they had to switch. <laughs> farmers only, is that a dating site? <laughs> yeah, apparently it is. It's like you don't have to be lonely at okay. farmersonly.com. All right, yeah. so we'll get back to his uh <laughs> well done. <I> <laughs> It's real. I miss doing this, buddy. We, we, we had a lot of fun times. Anybody, if you're new to the channel here and you're still with us, go look back at the, some of the old seasons. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of Game of Thrones. Yeah. There's a bunch of uh, Need for... No, what, uh, <laughs> need for, well, what the you're, hell? You're talking about uh, Fast and um, Furious. No, yeah. We, we, didn't, what, what, we didn't do that, just, but that's where Just look at the from. channel. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Speaking of farmers, Bernard. Bernard, that's what I was saying. So far, far, Bernard is is hiding out, although he was... Uh, I didn't get his name. He's he's like a he's like Gollum now. He's got two personalities, kind of... Mm-hmm. That um, cycle, well, he yeah. can turn it on and off. He's got a little button, right. like a key fob, for to bring out Bernard, I think. Right, and he's in hiding, and why is he in hiding? Um, uh, he fucking stumped me. Because uh, so he... What does Charlotte Hale say about him? I'm going to kill Bernard, but unfortunately he is in hiding. Well, Slat, she... My name is Char- Charlotte <laughs> she... Hale. So the fake Charlotte is talking to the board of directors, the, the head Delos guys, uh-huh. and she basically says, uh, this is not a death blow for our company. We can come back from this. This basically reinvigorates the, 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 the sense of adventure and danger yeah. in our park. And once we take care of the one person responsible for the, the massacre, we're back in business. And that one oh. person is Bernard Lowe. So they need to get... Bernard to kind of like say that their brand, their company is yeah. safe again. So, we got the guy right. that killed so everybody. We don't know who's in Charlotte. We don't know what Charlotte's web Did of he kill, deception he did, is. He did, nah, hey, yeah. nice. Yeah. There's not like a pig in that story. There's a pig, yeah. Um, he, he, he didn't kill everybody. I don't want to misinform people. No, no. he didn't. No. It anyway. was basically well. I mean, it's the host did. You, all, you could like, it's sort of a re- rebellion. You could get very um, meta in it and say that well, Bernard really is Arnold. Arnold really oh, did yeah. set the gears oh, in motion. So yeah. technically, through some you know right. big long term plan, you could say that he was the guy. Like the Jesus is the ghost and the and his dad and yeah. himself or something mm-hmm. like the spirit. No, no, I'm all three of them. <laughs> I wouldn't believe anybody who said that. I mean, um, when he launches Netflix, you think those three accounts there, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Which one does he pick for which one? Yeah. I don't know. And there's his kids on the, there's the fourth one. He yeah, he like, watches Pornhub on the Holy Ghost so oh. no one else can see it. That's his uh, incognito mode. Yeah, yeah. And it's spelled H-O-L-E dash Y. Yeah. Whole E. Okay, that's not. Um, all right, so 
they're uh, we were a little lost here. So Bernard is uh, being a butcher, and some dudes uh-huh. suss out that he is a wanted man. They figure him out and they confront him with an electric prod. Yes, and then he. Uh, turns on his Bernard mode, he flips the switch and he goes, and he beats them all up. But now he's got to run or something. Mm-hmm. Now he's in, like, that's going to propel his story for this season because he, he can't stay where he just right. killed two of the other butcher guys. And it seems like he's going back to Westworld. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. So he, he seemed to want to do that, yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd think he'd go to Eastworld or something. Better food. Yeah. I, I'd he, rather have, you know, but he said he, food. But he went to the docks, he got on a boat, says, I'm looking for a friend. Yeah. And he's going back to Westworld. So <laughs> is it Elsie? Is it uh, Hemsworth, dude? Is we'll it... find out, yeah. Oh, and, and, and the one person we didn't see is Sandy Newton. Although she was in the credits. Oh, Maeve, yeah. Maeve, yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. She is, uh, is she one of the soul balls now? That was my take Or did she go it. through that big vagina that, that opened up in the I, end of I, the season? I, I thought she was one of the purse balls. Yeah, maybe. So and is we, there is one of those Charlotte, the real Charlotte? They're going to pull her back up, too? Or well, I mean, or? Charlotte, I don't think Charlotte was a host. No, she wasn't a host, so oh. she couldn't be one of those. I don't know. Well, maybe they uploaded it from the Foundry or something. Maybe. I mean, that's that's possible. They could go any See? direction with this. I that's what's so really... nuts about this show is you just make up a bunch of crazy shit and it sounds plausible. Right. But this whole thing is like in a typical episode of Westworld, there's all these questions that are that are answered that you want to try and figure mm-hmm. out the, the truth behind. A lot of packaged riddles, so to speak. Yeah. In this episode, there really weren't any riddles. There, there is like a one layer cake. Well... Yeah, I guess so. They had to do some world building. They did a lot of establishing shots. They did a lot of yeah. the kind of the, the cars flying around. I mean, the it, it, any day automatic of the week. cars. There's no traffic in L.A. Apparently, yeah. in the future. That's something that looks. Although now it's pandemic time, there's going to be a lot less cars out on the road because yeah. of all the yeah. death. Yeah. If um, you if you give me an option, like any day of the week, say I'll give you this like subtle psychological, like multi layered enigma puzzle drama. Or you give me a hot woman in a miniskirt with a gun shooting people in a futuristic city. I'm going to go for the layer cake riddle. I'll take the miniskirt cake. Thank you. <laughs> Our evening dress. She changed her dress really quickly. Well, that was know, pretty fun. I mean, there, there's something to that. Yeah. But my preference is on the, the other side. Sure. If you're looking for some kind of uh, top shelf entertainment like yeah. Westworld brand that we've, we've all come to know and love. It's also why you're so upset when Game of Thrones got bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is started in season two, episode one. I mean, if Tyrion had put on a mini skirt, well, I, <laughs> I guess Ooh. any. You walked yourself into a, yeah, a that, trap with that one. That's wanna... just not. Let's not. <laughs> Whoops. Easy. Chill, brother. If he had put on a skirt. Yeah, the mountain wore a mini skirt. They're <laughs> yes, all mini on the mountain. Go. Exactly. They puts them on each finger. That goes yeah. so big. Um, so, all right. So, uh, the there's like a older guy that works for Liam's company. I didn't we get the. I, don't know the name of the company, but he is sort of looking out for the company's interests, kind of, or how would you describe it? Because he turns out he is, um, he, he figures out that she's not not just a, a new girlfriend. Well, that there's more to her than what Liam, who is the son of the AI, AI creator. The, so the, go ahead. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I'm well, being the, confused. The first guy that she takes the money from says that she also took files from another company called Insight. Oh yeah, insight. So I'm wondering That's if this it. other That's company that was is insight. That is insight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They she, they referred to Liam's company as insight. Okay. I f- correct us in the comments, but I'm I'm 98 sure that's true. Cool. Um, so anyway, they disable her or deactivate her or something, right? And Liam. Um, well, she gets uh, shocked. Well, yeah. What, there's a word I'm looking for. Dis uh, dis. dis Disable. I'm not. Disabled. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, Dis, not. Yeah. Well, I'm not convinced that she's ever actually out. She's just plain possum. Could be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My favorite thing possums do aren't they the ones that shit and piss? Like if if uh, the playing dead doesn't work, they just like vacate their bowels and uh, just, yeah and, and, and puke every, all over themselves. Back and, in like, December, and I I took our possum out and to give it a bath. <laughs> you have a <laughs> yes. I mean, it's a crippled possum. His, his leg is messed up, so it has to live inside. A crippled but possums possum. they don't really like water though. So we filled up this big like rubber made tub with the warm water what and we slowly fuck? lowered it in and this like little like crippled legs were like flailing around oh, and it was no. like hissing no, a little bad. bit. But as soon as it touched the water, it just released its bowels, and it was like this big orange cloud. It was so we, orange? Orange. It was bright orange. Did we, it get into your Cheetos or something? No, no. So I took it out and then dumped the water out, fixed, you know, sprayed yeah. it out, cleaned it out, put more warm water in there. Round two, lower the possum, whoosh, brown uh, orange cloud again. Like an ink cloud yeah, from it's, a it, squid. It's like it was holding back. It was not letting all the orange out the first time. Well, it, it was going to ev- make it hard. Evolution is a very, very refining, refining yeah. process. They're so, not yeah. going to waste a whole load of orange goo. Yeah. That's hilarious. So you're cleaning up pot. This is why we used to talk for three hours because you'd say something crazy 
about how giving a crippled possum a bath. Well, you have to. Well, you, your family, your, where you're from, has like animal rescue. Yeah, animal yeah, they rehabilitate. Re- 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 so you have yeah. like squirrels and shit. Yes, I love squirrels. Yeah, you had goose poop in your in your mouth. We'll yeah, save that story yeah. for next time. That's one of those fun. That's ones. why when I took the Pottermore quest quest quiz, I came out as Hufflepuff because I love animals. All right, nerd. What a reference that is. I don't. I'm not a Harry Potter person. Someone made me take it, and they were like giving me crap, like, "Well, I was Gryffindor, so I'm better than you." I don't give a crap. Yo, man, I, Harry Potter's just a fucking bomb. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you. Uh, okay. Let's let's finish it up since we're trying to keep it short. We are, we, are, we do go long. We're gonna go about twenty. Yeah. Um. Now he refuses a job. To do the, he doesn't do personals, which I don't quite understand what that means, but I guess, I don't know, maybe killing? Like, I don't do, I don't want to hurt people. He'll, like, steal money and do other stuff, yeah. I guess, but. But he is trying to get a legit job, too, but the, yeah. the market out there is really bad. Frustrated. Yeah. 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 The, uh, he does construction work on something. He has a robot friend that, that oh, shoots yeah, studs that was in like, concrete. Yeah, or it's kind of like if Chappie had a more, more productive uncle. Yeah. Um, and we saw some cool robot stuff that we're going to see later on. They're like a big kind of spider looking thing mm-hmm. that was in one of the shots. And so anyway, the bad guys are going to just get rid of this girl who they don't realize is a host. They're like, we don't know where she's from, but she's trying to steal from our Liam yeah. guy here. So. Trying to give her an overdose and then dump her body. Just like a classic. It's oh, it seems like. this, is how we, this is how we clean things up. Yeah. So now Jesse, sorry. Um, did we get his name? Caleb. Caleb. Caleb Pinkman and uh, Dolores, the host, are going to be meeting uh, at the end of the episode. There's a good shootout. She uh, kind of comes back to life, calls up her robot bike. She's got the she's got yeah. the same uh, um, uh, robot bike as uh, Terminator the or no RoboCop the new one and the um, Terminator Genesis movie yeah, starring then, Christian Bale yeah. and his eye booger. In the next episode, she has a bunch of motorcycles come together to form a Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> she shoots off like Voltron. A, a Megazord? Yeah. Is that a real? It's, it's a Power Ranger thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know Voltron. I, didn't know. <laughs> I forget how funny you are. It really, it really fucking irritating. Honestly, <laughs> I, I kind of can't stand it. Um, and so. They, uh, you know, she survives, obviously. They're not going to kill her. And uh, she kills the guy. He's actually an actor who I recall from Train Spotting. Well, she doesn't kill him. Is he from Train Spotting? No, she kills him. And then, and then he, his duplicate shows up. No, the duplicate kills him. Oh. And he says the her, same, okay. he says the yeah, same right. thing to the real guy that the real guy said to her, I don't think anyone's going to miss you. Yeah. That's right. He said that before. Uh-huh. Um, so the duplicate. Now, where did she get him, or was he already a duplicate? Like he the- showed up in a car. Because what we know is that when she left Westworld, she was in Charlotte Hale's body, which tells us that when she got back to the mainland, she had a printer so she could reprint herself back out to put herself back in that body. Okay. So another corroborating fact for that is that she was able to take this guy pre-plan and print a copy of him. Yeah. He was in the car that was waiting for them near the the tunnel yeah so when she was in the car pretending to play possum be dead he went out to meet the car that just drives up and sees himself sitting in it which causes him to panic and in that moment of confusion she starts going ninja inside the car takes the gun kills the guys then starts the whole chase shootout oh okay so i must have missed that moment when he Mm -hmm. saw the when he saw himself the first time um all right, yeah. So there's a shootout. I think that was the Echo Park, or I think that was Silver Lake. I don't know. I don't. I don't get yeah. to the east side. We live in Los Angeles, for anybody who doesn't know. But we're more on the west kind of side of the there's West sort of a, World. Yeah, we're in West World. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, nobody's around. By the way, L.A. is filled with people. There's always people everywhere. So mm-hmm. in the future of this L.A., there's only about six people in the entire city. No traffic anywhere. Yes, so this that is was a little weird. Post Corona. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of AIs and robots <laughs> and, and one evil company. Yeah. All right, so uh, she and Jesse meet up, or she and Caleb meet up in, in a in a in a tunnel under a bridge or something, and uh, she's pretty injured. So it looks like he's. This is going to be the thing that maybe is he quits his therapy. He, yeah. He, he fires Francis, his his his, his uh, therapy wartime buddy. Yeah. It turns out the voice in his head was put in there by the therapist to yeah. help him with the program. He right. doesn't need it anymore. He says he wants something real and jokes on him. He goes meets Dolores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I call James a couple times a day just to talk about my pain too. Yeah. And James's pain, but I can't get him to open up. Yeah. And we do find out that Westworld was founded. The source of the money that Delos got was because they bought all the toilet paper before Corona. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. they sold it afterwards. Yeah. They sold it on Amazon for nine hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the other therapy that James and I do is I give James a bath, but he always vacates a quarter of his bowels, so I have to do it five times to get him clean. Well, um, the secret is you take three <laughs> tablespoons of the the powder tang. <laughs> powder tang. 
<laughs> Remember that orange concentrate shit that came in a can that you would um, like it was frozen and you'd mix it in with some water? Well, do they still make that? I think they still do that. That wasn't Tang? No, that wasn't. That's just a whole different thing. No. I just had a flashback to childhood. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, um, all right, so that's more or less the episode. We might be missing mm-hmm. some details. I'm sure we are, whatever. The, uh, what do you think, um, where, where, for, what are your, how's your, what's your feeling for the season? Uh, Terrible question. I'm going to try and be optimistic. Yeah, I'm, don't give I'm up not, right I'm away. I'm not digging it right now, but doesn't mean it's not going to get better. Bernard's going back to Westworld, so there's going to be something there for me yeah. if he makes it back to the mainland. I'm hoping, but. I think he'll meet Maeve there in Elsie. Yeah. I don't know where Maeve went, though. I don't recall. Um. Maybe so you're kind of turned off by the setting. You just sort of feel like this is it's becoming kind of just a generic kind of Black Mirror episode. Yeah, with this like future world, yeah, like usually, future, a little too cyberpunk. Yeah, I, I just well, it's, it's, not my thing. Yeah, all right. I kind of like it though. I, I sort of like when when shows and things build worlds when they like show like the, what the economy is like or yeah. what how the technology is developed. I mean, this one had a Range Rover. Yeah, my thought um, though. I, I enjoy that kind of stuff. How it fits into the narrative and to these characters that we've gotten to know in these other settings might not work so great. But I'm I was okay with this. I, yeah. Sometimes when it, when a new season comes up um, of a show and, and they're really off the mark, you can mm-hmm. feel it. And this didn't feel super off the mark for me. Yeah, I it's not yet. I, I liked not knowing what the world was like outside of Westworld right. because I I like to imagine that the world outside of Westworld was a lot like our own society where technology was advanced but it wasn't advanced to the point that you have like a cyberpunk city life right there. Yeah, because the, the more technology is integrated into the lives of the daily people outside of Westworld, the less special Westworld seems by comparison. So I right. didn't. I was hoping for something different, but they went full future cyberpunk, which kind it kind of hurts Don't my get... preconceptions about how I wanted it to be. Which doesn't mean that it's bad; it just right. means that I need to get used to it. And you got to remember, this is Westworld. Yeah, they are probably pulling some simulation within a simulation business, just like someone said that there was a line of dialogue like, "Oh, probably a simulation in a simulation." So this could all be just a big edifice. For no. some other thing that we don't even realize. It's better I mean, that than a big Oedipus. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that in Westworld. <laughs> Although it is HBO, so it is HBO. Yeah. Like. They, it, it, you used to watch Real Sex on HBO. Never seen it. What? Ah, oh, brother, we gotta get some get fucked up on edibles and, and have a weekend. <laughs> um, that's a weird show that yeah yeah where they just show like your grandpa masturbating and you'd be like wow that's what's what the but not, it's pretty disturbing. Yeah. Um, so. God. Uh, predictions or hopes, dreams, anything any else, thing else you want to say? Just let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, How much more time are they going to spend back in Westworld? Are we going to see like another park? Will there be a medieval? Like, I, are, are we done with hoping there's different biomes? Or? I feel like there needs to be. I, I don't think the show can sustain itself with episodes like this. I get yeah. that this episode is exposition. It's setting things up. It's showing us that we're in a different world now. Yeah. But I really genuinely feel like they need to go back to something else. I think CEO Arlet, Char- mm-hmm. the Charlotte CEO, Charlotte, yeah. CR, CR, CR Arlet, I think she's going to have like a secret park that she built that's some other sort of crazy park. Mm. I feel like there's that. I mean, but, but, they might not do, you know, because like the Shogun world was connected to the West world. Yeah. They might not do more of those cubes or whatever, you know, like in, in like if it's a honeycomb of different biomes, I bet she's got a whole new location or something. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how there's like Bush Gardens, but there's also Disney World or something. Oh, yeah, Bush that Gardens mean? was my jam. Well, yeah, that's near, right. You're from out, out east in Williamsburg, Virginia. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Do they have a possum bathing ride there? Oh yeah, the you possum get, coasters. Yeah. Three whole minutes underwater. What? No. That's how long that's possums. A, that's a joke that I oh, saw somewhere else. That's how long it took you to drink up the poo and, yeah. from the possum bath. It was an old Mr. Show sketch where they were talking about like the biggest and best roller coasters, and one was trying to up the other, oh, and okay. one was like the mega coaster, five whole minutes underwater. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> It'll kill you. All right. All right. Good. Good reference, Mr. Show. Uh, okay. Well. Good. Uh, nine. I, 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 scale of six to ten. Where do you score this? Six being the lowest, and ten. Point five being the highest. Eight. An eight? <laughs> right in the middle. Really? You're giving it a... Ah, we could have been for the doubt. I mean, it, 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 I didn't love it, but that's no okay. reason to, to crap all over it like a possum. Okay, fair enough. I give it like a... Out of from six to ten and a half, which is the, <laughs> the worst scale you could come up with. I'd say nine. Nine, nine point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's good. You know. 
They'll do some crazy stuff. They'll be like some robot piano player or some shit, you know, maybe playing a xylophone. I want to see a rib xylophone. Mm. You know, like the old skeleton ribs. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I got oh. to see two wings. Was that a non? Yeah, they, yeah, we didn't miss out on some wieners. Yeah. <laughs> Really making up West for all those. Without that. Well, for so long they only showed boobs, like yep. women parts, and now we, and there were none of that. We, in we've this. entered the payback period now, yeah. where we're, it's just going to be human male ding dongs. And one um, was synthetic. You know, and I look at crazy. one almost every day mm. on um, single wiener <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, no, I know. Um, you know, I, yeah, <laughs> you right. don't have to be lonely at singlewieners.com. No, <laughs> no, no. There was a tiny penis joke in this, which is very offensive to me because me and my people. With little tiny wieners. Um, all right, guys. That uh, what? Anything else? You good? Yeah, that's. I'm good. That's pretty much. Thanks it. for watching, everybody. Please um, stay tuned for more stuff. Uh, glad to be back. Good to see everybody. Whoever uh, might remember our, our episodes, our channel here. Um, Don't and, die from Corona. Yeah, be careful. Wash your hands as soon as you get inside, and, r- and wipe the doorknob, and call your parents and cough, and then just and just tell them to like delete your porn, and then see what happens. Mm. Um, uh, if anybody's interested in politics and what I'm up to lately, I've, I'm doing like a new kind of podcast. It's actually my old podcast. I've been doing it forever uh, in my comedy career, and uh, but I'm, I'm focusing on politics and, and stuff like that. So it's like lefty um, democratic socialist politics and stuff. So if you're not into that, you're not, you're gonna hate it. But if you're into it, come on, come on board. Winners and losers. So we'll put a link in the description, and I have a YouTube channel for it. It's brand new, basically. Looking for listeners and viewers and whatever else, and uh, but it's like about the election and about politics. And I've been into politics for most of my life, and it's it's like my sports more than watching shows are really. So, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, bunch of opinions that'll piss people off. It's good, James. People get really upset these days. Everybody's just all upset and angry all the time. Yeah, yeah, I and I don't know why I want to get into it. It's it's like it sounds like a, like if you succeed, they try to kill you. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like there's a lot of other things that that are much better for mental health than getting into politics. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm already half crazy and half about to kill myself anyway. So, <clears throat> all right, sounds great. Glad to be back, James. It's been a pleasure. I'm looking forward to doing more of these. We'll keep them shorter. Okay. You know, whatever. We were shooting for like ten minutes, and what did we hit? Uh, you know, thirty. Yeah. Well, we were going to shoot for fifteen, and you know, yeah. I figured we'd hit 20 but mm-hmm. we did good we did good i think that i'm proud of us did we hit record ah oh, fuck uh good night <laughs> don't forget to like and bend the knee everybody peace, oh, yeah, bend the knee. peace out Take, uh, see you next <laughs> week bye cars. what jerk cars jerk off yes jerk cars oh, jer- jer- <laughs> jer- jer- <laughs> jer- <laughs> yeah all right that's fine i'll end it somewhere James, plug in, plug in a fucking microphone for the review we're gonna do. <laughs> Bernard's going back to Westworld. <laughs>